Lunch Bites. I'm Pastor Rich. I'm the lead pastor here at Lake Missionary Church. I just want to take a couple minutes to encourage you in God's Word. I want to ask you a question today. Where does your joy come from? What gives you joy? I think this is a real question in today's world and what we're going through and everything that's happening. What brings real joy? What is it that makes you joyful? And if you don't know the answer to this question, maybe Paul can give us a little bit of a hint. See, in Philippians chapter 2, it says, If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourself. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. What brings Paul joy? Paul gets joy from seeing others succeed. Paul gets joy from allowing people to do what God has called him to do. So I ask you, what brings you joy? What is it that, that makes you really tick when it comes to the idea of joy? What, joy is different than happiness. And we can be happy, but joy is something different. Because we can have joy in good and bad situations. A lot of times I've done a lot of funerals in my life and and one of the things that you can you try to instill into a funeral service is joy. Because the death of a loved one is never happy. But when you look back and you think about what they meant to your life, there, bring, there comes joy. It brings joy to your life. I think what Paul is encouraging us with here is that that joy comes from others. So I ask you today, who in your life is showing you joy, causing you to have joy? Is it your spouse? Is it your kids? Is it a coworker or a friend? Who is it that you're trying to see and help and build in to succeed? What is it that, that's important in your life? Is God's love important in your life? We know that for Paul, God's love was at the center of everything he did. Is that what's at the center of everything you do? So I challenge you with those words today. What brings you joy? We sometimes limit joy to the idea of just Christmas time, but joy should be in our lives every day. So I challenge you today to take that idea and see others succeed and have the joy that only you can get from God. Well, we look forward to continuing doing these Lunch Bites. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's Lunch Bites. You got to meet Corinne, our youth director, and she'll be helping us out with these at, at, at periodically uh, in the coming weeks. So um, I hope that was good for you. I also want to remind you that tomorrow is the National Day of Prayer. Uh, we have a an event on Facebook that local pastors and um, local musicians and, and whatnot we've put together. So to lead us in a time of prayer, a prayer for our country, a prayer for our state and our, our city, our community, um, pastors, just a tough, tough time right now that we need to really reach out and pray for one another. So I want to invite you to that. It's at 10 o'clock on Facebook and it's at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening also on Facebook. You can find that at facebook.com slash LMC Angola, and that'll be posted there. I also want to take a moment just to kind of introduce our next series. Our next series is Be Rich, um, and it's still looking at what does it mean to be rich. So I'm going to play a video just to kind of introduce that as we close out our time today. So many of us go through life wanting more, believing if we just had more stuff, more things, more money, then we'd be happy. The problem is, we don't realize that what we have isn't who we are. Instead of trying to get rich, we must realize that we already are rich. So with God's help, it's time to be rich in what matters most.